Hello everyone and welcome back to Real Living and welcome if you're new. My name's Ashley and today's video is full of all kinds of cleaning motivation. I've got some deep cleaning stuff going on and some basic cleaning stuff going on and also a recipe. So come along with me and let's get motivated and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So the very first room we are starting off in is Trustin's room. Now, since we've done the la latest makeover in the kids' rooms, they have completely changed the way that they take care of their room. I really did not have a whole lot to do in either room, but I just wanted to tidy up, kind of help them out a little bit with their laundry and get the floors done. I really wanted to get the floors in the entire house um, mopped and everything like that. So I was very, very happy that my kids have been doing so much better. They've never really been too bad when it comes to um, how bad their room gets, but um, they've only been a little bit messy. But since we've redone their room this last time, they are in love with it and they have been taking excellent care of it. So I definitely have to give my kids a shout out because they have been doing awesome. Again, in Cheyenne's room, not that bad. She's a little bit more messy than Trustin, but I can't even really call it messy. She usually plays with her dolls in the morning before we head to the bus stop. So it's kind of just a daily thing that she always has her dolls out. So again, just going in, tidying things up, um, restacking her stuffed animals, wiping some stuff down, helping with the laundry. But the main goal, again, was the floors. So, as you can see, the kids have been doing so good, and I am so, so proud of them.
you'll see me a few times bouncing back between getting the rooms cleaned and getting the laundry done. Our laundry was what I was getting done that day, mine and Joe's, because I was planning on cleaning the, our bedroom after getting Cheyenne's done. So getting our laundry done while I was in the other rooms definitely helped out the process of getting my room done. My bedroom is definitely my dirty little secret. It is definitely the room that is the most neglected. It doesn't get near as much attention as it should. I usually focus on the kids' rooms and uh, the rest of the house because that's where we are 99% of the time. Joe and I usually only come in the room to either edit videos or to sleep. We don't really do a whole lot in here. We don't hang out in here. We're always in the rest of the house. So I always keep the rest of the house a lot more cleaner and I'm always focused on the rest of the house. Now I've actually got some time on my hands because Joe is officially back at work he got a job at a local car dealership, so he is now back to work, and it is back to the grind for both of us. Um, for seven years, he was working uh, seven days a week and everything like that, so now it's a whole lot better hour-wise, so now everything is back on me, but that's okay because I've done this before. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. So as embarrassing it is, as it is to admit, this room is definitely my kryptonite. Um, being the way I am, I tend to keep every other room in the house cleaned. Everything that I know people are gonna see or the uh, where we hang out and stuff like that. So my room definitely gets neglected and I've gotta get better at it because my kids have been showing that they really, really take care of their rooms and they're doing an awesome job at that. And I guess I could take a little bit of a pointer from them because when it comes to my bedroom, it's just, it doesn't get the attention that the rest of the house gets. I always tend to think of everybody else first, and I am the last one. I did get a comment the last time that um, we did the kids' room redo, and they asked, when was mom and dad going to get their room redone? And the answer to that is hopefully soon. <laughs> it's not as, uh, it's not going to be as expensive as the other projects that we have planned for the house. We mainly want to uh, replace some of the baseboards and the framework around the doors 
and um, repaint the ceiling and the walls but this carpet this carpet has been in this house since we moved in and it was stained when we moved in and I have not been able to ever get it cleaned so that is the very very first thing that I want to do is get this carpet done but you will see that slowly we will add things to the room. Uh, you'll see in the reveal of this room that I did add a brand new fan. The old one took a dump on us, so we had to get a new one. But the answer to the question, when is mom and dad getting their room makeover? I honestly don't know for sure, but we're going to try to do little bits and pieces here and there. Um, I'd like to get Trustin's room totally redone with the walls and painting and stuff like that first along with that other bathroom that I have. So I kind of, as always, think about other people first. So our bedroom will be last on the list, but it is definitely on the list. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. You're looking so old. Now I'm moving closer to you. And it's getting dark in this room. Tell me what you want to do. Baby, let me love you. Let me love you. Let me love you. Let me love you. Baby, let me love you. Let me love you. Let me love. Let me love. Baby, let me love you. Just say the word and we can leave this place. I'll take you any way you want As long as we're together, everything we'll do You got me going all, you got me going all Now I'm moving closer to you And it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love Sour 
Loving you Every time when you're looking at me It feels like my heart is keeping on beat Yeah, you know I can't live without you So this week's recipe is Joe's recipe And it is shrimp scampi um, I'm going to list the entire recipe, all the ingredients, and all the steps in the description below because I know I'm very, very bad at describing what I'm doing in my videos, so I try to do all of that in the description. But one of the things is we are using white wine, uh, white wine sauce for the shrimp. Now, my biggest piece of advice is if you're going to use white wine, because you don't have to. But if you're going to use white wine, I suggest not using a white wine that you will not drink. If you don't want to drink it, I wouldn't use it. And the alcohol will cook out, so it is safe for kids to eat, <laughs> I promise. But um, yeah, always use a uh, wine that you will drink. Otherwise, it's not going to be as good as you expect, but the wine is not necessary. You make me crazy in a good way So come on, baby, let's talk Let's talk about love Now you can cook all of this at one time but we like to break it up just to add the pasta in and get everything nicely coated and one more piece of advice when cooking shrimp I suggest to cook them when they until they turn into a C and not an O. If you uh, cook them until your shrimp turn into an O, then they are probably gonna be tough and a little bit overcooked. You and me all night and let's talk about love. I'm feeling all right and let's talk about love. Yeah, baby, come and dance with me. Everything you ever need, so let's, let's talk about love. Take 
you out tonight Kiss you in the moonlight There is no place I'd rather be Come on girl, we can take my car Next room we've got going on is the living room the very first thing I wanted to do when I started to deep clean this living room was dusting. I always try to start top to bottom. So I went around and I dusted everything. And after I got all of the pictures and everything like that dusted, um, I moved on to the fan. You know I can't live without you. You make me crazy in that good way. So come on, baby. Let's talk. Let's talk about love. Like you and me all night. And let's talk about love. I'm feeling alright. And let's talk about love. This fan here never gets turned off unless I remember to turn it off so that I can clean it. Otherwise, it is running 24-7, 365. Now, because of that, what I like to do is I'll take the duster and get the bulk of the dust off. Now, I do sometimes use a pillowcase and wrap the pillowcase around the blade. That way it catches everything. But I knew that since I was dusting everything else and also taking care of the floors this day, that I didn't necessarily have to do that. So I went ahead with the duster and just dusted everything off of it, all the bulk of it, and then I went behind it and wiped each blade down with um, my rag that had Mrs. Myers on it. I pretty much use Mrs. Myers for everything in my house. I even use it for the uh, solution in my floors. I know that they have um, mopping solutions and stuff like that, but I like the way that Mrs. Myers cleans my floors. So that's what I use. I got a comment last week. Um, someone let me know of a couple of websites to check out and try to find couch covers for this giant couch. So far, I haven't found exactly what I'm looking for, but I am definitely still looking. So thank you so much for those suggestions. Um, but for right now, I'm still keeping it all uh, uncovered and everything like that. So I needed to vacuum it. And I also found a way to go ahead and just clean the cushions up by using very, very hot water and a Tide Pod. And then I would just take my rag and wipe it down over top of the couch cushions where the dogs like to lay. Um, this worked out really well. The water was pretty dirty when I poured it out. 
And also, uh, it left it smelling a lot fresher and a lot cleaner. Because sometimes it's hard to get those dog smells out, but it definitely worked and it helped with the stains too. So I suggest giving that a try. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me there's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile? Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fine, but I can tell that you have something on your mind right now I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes I feel like with the dogs and the kids always putting their, uh, the dogs with their noses and the kids with their fingers always putting everything on these windows that my sliding glass door is always needing to be cleaned. So after I got that done, I moved on to the boxes of the Christmas stuff. Now, I did take the Christmas stuff down, but we've had a little bit of craziness going on with Joe going back to work and everything, so I haven't been able to get the boxes out. But I was finally able to get them done and get them out into the laundry room and stack up and make them all nice and organized and get this floor finished.
The dining room wasn't really bad. It was mainly my floors again in here because there's a lot of traffic that goes through this dining room between the dogs and us. This is the main entry to the house. So it always needs to be vacuumed and taken care of. Obviously, I can't mop it because it's concrete. Um, we do have plans on sprucing up the concrete, uh, possibly painting it or putting some kind of sealant over it. We're not totally sure yet if we're going to go for wood or carpet. We're not sure yet, but we're thinking about it and we're trying to make a plan for that. But that is another project that is coming but like I said, out here really wasn't too bad. It was just tidying up and getting the floors done. also cleaning this threshold. I tend to clean this threshold a couple of times a month because it seems to, because obviously with all the traffic, it gets really dirty and then the sliding glass door doesn't seem to shut properly or it feels like it's catching or it's gritty. So I try to keep this threshold as clean as possible, as often as possible. But with all the dogs and the kids and us and tracking dirt and hair and everything, it definitely has to be kept up on. room is the kitchen and it was just tidying up um it's still a little bit cluttered with some of the uh utensil holders and stuff like that but those are actually going to be in my next video i'm hoping and praying that this weekend i will be able to get my hutch uh the legs braced up and fixed and make it look nice and I'm hoping to be able to get it into my kitchen and reorganize. I have a big hutch that I'm going to try to put all of my appliances in, or at least as many as I can, maybe some pots and pans, try to reorganize and declutter the kitchen just a little bit. But that's the main thing that we're hoping for for next week. But for right now, it was just tidying up, putting some dishes away. And again, like I said, my floors were my main focus this week.
I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's video, and I am very, very, very hopeful that next week is going to be an awesome uh, reorganization of my kitchen. Um, fingers crossed that that happens. If not, I'm still going to have an awesome video for you guys. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, is there anything that y'all want to see me cook or anything in particular you want to see me clean? Um, I'm always open to suggestions and I love to give you guys what you want. So let me know and don't be afraid to comment. I love talking to you guys. But until next week, I hope to see you all there and I thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day.